Hello guys, welcome back to another video. First of all, I just want to quickly apologize for the wind noise. I am trying my best to block the wind with my wide body at the moment. <laughs> um, but we're going to try our best with what we've got. I'm fishing on the small pier today and I'm fishing two rods. Uh, seagulls, probably. They're laughing at me. They said, what are you talking to a camera for, you daft ass? That's what they're saying. That should be. Um, <laughs> as I was saying, fishing two rods. Uh, the wind today was not supposed to be like this. The, the wind today, I would say, it's about 15 miles an hour. Gusts coming from northwestly ish. And it's supposed to be five mile an hour southly. So the weatherman is wrong again. I am going to be fishing into darkness tonight. Uh, high tide is at quarter past 12, that's only quarter past uh, 11 and I'm going to be fishing until 12. I'm going to be trying a different variety of baits, variety of rigs, distance, just trying different things until we can get a fish. Hopefully uh, we can pick up a couple of fish tonight to be honest. I need a video for you guys. <laughs> Um, I need to remember now that I'm using my phone on selfie mode, so I need to look at the little lens right there. Not there on the screen. <laughs> it's weird. I'm not used to it. But um, yeah, I'll give you a little show around now. Just apologise for the wind again. Right, I'm going to try and block the wind the best I can with my body. But as you can see, we've got two rods, we've got my lead icon, and of course the Sonic Vader. Um, at the moment on the Sonic Veda I've got a one up one down and on the leader I have a pulley rig with cart again. Now if you remember on the last video I tried for the first time cart wing inside of a finger bandage. Now I'm doing that again tonight because I only tried it once over there. I was over there that time. Um, but this time I'm going to try it all night really on here and we'll see if it picks up a fish or not. Never tried it before so I want to give it a shot. Got mackerel and cart and sand eel in there. That's all I've got. But I'm sure that'll do. But yeah, baits have been out there a good, a good amount of time already now so uh, I'll be bringing them in shortly. So stick around and we'll see what we can get. Right guys, uh, trying to block you off the best I can, but I have got a hell of a surprise for you. I've just brought my one, one down rig with two bits of mackerel on, wait until you see what I got. I've measured it up with my guy further up. Right, I'm going to try my best not to get too much wind noise, but I'm going to show you what I got. I've just put the, on on. Let's tighten up, just tighten it up a little bit. Right. Right, I've just put the Sonic Vader back out, one with the one up, one down, fresh bit of mackerel on, on both hooks, and look what I brought in. Oh, yeah, bugger. <laughs> oh, you got me. <laughs> Boom. Got dinner, boys and girls. <laughs> I've measured it on, um, what do you call it? I'll show you in a second. But look, it's just got me. Um, I've just measured it on the guy that's further up. He's got a measure. I forgot to bring mine. Uh, it was 20 to 30, you know what I mean, centimetres. Between 20 and 30 centimetres, which is about 4 inches. So I've googled 4 inches and it's 101. So it's it's 101, mil 101 millimetres. So it's, it's in. So it's legal size. But I will double check when I get home uh, with a tape measure. Because I just don't have a tape measure with me. Yeah, I'll, uh, it's, I, th I think it's because I've, I've put my hand on top of the carapace and the carapace is way bigger than my hand and yeah, I'm sure it is, I'm sure it's in um, and it's a male as well I, I, I'll be honest, when I've watched other people's videos and, and they said um, you can tell if it's a male, male or female by this and this I don't know what I'm looking at <laughs> but now that I've looked at one with my own eyes I am pretty sure this is, this is a male Right, you guys can double check for me. I'm sure that white bit there means it's a male, right? Well, I think I think that's what it means. But yeah, I'm over the moon. <laughs> well, it's gonna 
stay in my box until I get home and I'll measure it properly. If it's undersized, I promise I'll turn it on camera just to prove it to you guys. But if it's legal, it's gone in the cook pot. <laughs> Guys, I don't know if you can hear me, but I was getting a run on this on this, on this uh, small rod. Oh yes, nice fish. This is definitely not a rare. Feels like a little conga to be honest. Little strap, see? I don't know if you can hear me at all, but this isn't this isn't a rare. Nowhere near a rare. Feels heavy now. This boy was staying deep. Oh, it is a rare. Well, that was wrong. Look at that, perfectly hooked to the side of the mouth. Hey, nice male ray. The claspers there. I'll give that three and a half, maybe four. I'll give it a quick way, and we'll see, and we'll release it. Five pound three. Not bad, we're going to release it now, but I'm going to leave the camera here because it's pretty windy. Right guys, I'm just going to rebait this rig up that I've just caught that ray on. I also want to talk about that Sonic Vader because what I did was wrong. I don't know if you could see it on camera. I don't think you did, but I'll explain in a second. But I'm just going to rebait this rod, this rod up first. So I'm going to fill it a mackerel, cut it in half. Bigger section. All I'm going to do is just do a shallow cut. Like that until you get through the pin bones if there's any fold it over like that and then i'm just going to whip that together i haven't put it on the hook yet i'm going to whip whip it together just lightly first just so you can get the shape of it like so right cut that off and then thread the hook on if I can see the hook there we are the hook on this pulley rig that I'm using is a 4-0 just thread it through the top pull it, pull it all the way through and then thread it like a needle I don't know if you can see but thread it in pull it out thread it in Pull it out and then again thread it back in, pull it back out, and pull your just line out the way, and there you go. You got a nice sharp hook there, proud, and then you 
get your panel hook. Wrap that around the shank a couple of times. Put it for the top of the bait, pull it tight. Give it a couple more whips and it's ready to go. Give it a couple more whips of elastic. Just so it's tight up against the hook. And that should do it. Right, I'm gonna get this clipped on back under the rod and get it casted out. Oh, damn. Put the head lamp on. Right, I just want to say something about this Sonic Vader. This Sonic Vader, I've done something, I've just done something when I landed that rear, right? Well, that rod is not supposed to do. <laughs> I was down there trying to land it up the steps where that guy is, and I just couldn't do it on my own. So I gave up, I reeled down, right down the side of the wall, uh, rod tip right down as far as I can and I slowly lifted that rear up, uh, up out the water and onto the top of the pier. That rod shouldn't have been able to do that, but it did. It, it, that, that rear was five pound three, and it managed to lift that rear up and over the top of the wall, which I don't recommend anybody do that. But for some reason, that rod did not snap. I was scared. You know, I was crapping my pants when I was doing it because I didn't want that rod to snap because I love that rod. Now I love, I love it even more. For all the people that said to me, what do you really think of the Sonic Vader? Now you know. Right, for the next bait, I'm putting a full jolly on with the tail missing. So all I'm going to do, well, on, this, on this rig I'm going to, a, a, a six or, uh, what the hell is this? Uh, Sakuma. <laughs> All I'm gonna do is just do the same thing I do with the congas. I'm just gonna thread it right down the back of the mackerel towards the head. And then on the last bit, bring it out on the head like so. So then it looks proud on right on top of the head, like that. And then the panel hook. The panel hook is a photo, uh, a photo Sukuma panel hook. And then pull up through the top, and there you go. Boom, ready to go. Now I'm just gonna put some cotton, whip some cotton on. And then that will be ready to go. Guys, I'm just about to roll up our Joey now, and I've just noticed on the Sonic Vader, I've got another run. So I need to be quick.
Guys, you will not freaking believe it. I have just caught a bullhuss. Look at that. Bullhuss. <laughs> right, I'm gonna get lights and get unhooked and I'll give you a better show. I'll bring you back. Right guys, I'll just go in quickly before I unhook it. Look, my hook is there on the right hand side and look, somebody else's hook there on the left hand side. It looks like they've been bitten off. Well, me, mine's in the corner on a circle hook. That's the main hook. No, it's not. That's the main hook. That's a circle hook. I was wrong, but I still got it in the corner of the mouth. Right, let's get it on the hook. Right, guys. Oh. There it is. There it is. Look. Look at the mouth. <laughs> oh. I need to get myself on camera with it. I thought it was a rare, but it's a bullet. <laughs> the first bullet off the little pier. Oh, I'm buzzing. Right, I'm gonna go and release it now. Get in. Right, guys, just weighed it, seven pound four. Right, I'm gonna go and release it now. Bye bye. Right, guys, just wanna quickly say, um, when I got that horse. Um, when I was talking about earlier about the Sonic Raider, right, and uh, I told you never to really lift a heavy fish up out the water high, you know what I mean, to put the rod under too much tension. <coughs> that rear was five and a half, say, and the host was seven and a half, and the rod still was able to lift that fish from the water up over the wall like i said earlier i suggest you don't do that because you might end up with a, uh, a broken rod but uh like i say i am very very impressed with the uh, sonic vader <laughs> I, I really am it's i love it <laughs> it's it's had all the fish tonight even it's had everything the lobster the rear the huss it's had everything the lead icon it's had nothing <laughs> Right guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. We've had an absolute fantastic night tonight. Like now the wind has dro dropped right off. Bit of a shame, but I think that uh, strong wind that we got pushed in the good fish that we've had tonight. Um, we didn't have many fish, but we had good fish. We had a surprise lobster, which I'll show you in a second. And then we had a five, five pound three male form back rear. And then we had a seven and a half pound bull horse, which was unreal. And like I said in the video, guys, the Sonic Veda, it's, it's, a, it's a machine. Um, who says you need to buy an expensive rod to, to, to catch decent fish? And like I say, the lobster. Absolute beast. <laughs> I'm absolutely over the moon that I've caught my first ever lobster. Uh, that's legal and ready to go. So yeah, I'll get this home and I'll get it dispatched ready for the cook pot tomorrow. But yeah, fantastic guys. So guys, if you like the video, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next time. I'll see you on the, in the next time? That doesn't make sense. I'll see you next time on Else Fishing Adventures. See you later.